If you guys are like me, nothing feels better in my beard than a thick oil during these cold winter months when the air's a little bit drier. Today's company's got one of the best thick oils that I have found in the beard game right now. I absolutely love their oils and butters. They just released a new blend starting off 2021. They got rid of some of the lesser ingredients and replaced them with better ingredients, as well as they came out with a 50% emu oil option with a 50% new blend option all in one bottle for you guys. So if you like the, the feel of emu oil, this is a great option and it's already a thick oil. So you're going to get a fantastic product today. We are talking maybe one of my top companies in the beard game right now for me, and that is Tailored Beard Company. Come check these guys out. What's going on, everybody? Thank you for stopping by the channel. If you haven't yet, consider hitting that like and subscribe button. I greatly appreciate each and every one of you that stops by the channel. Today, as I had mentioned, we are back with Tailored Beard Company. You guys saw me shoot a video with my wife, uh, her getting to smell a lot of these scents. I've got some more scents that weren't in that video for you guys. Um, she just got to, you know, give me the first impression of what she thought of Taylor Beard Company before I actually got to wear a whole bunch of this product. I had only wore maybe one or two of the scents before. Now we have got to try everything and I am absolutely in love with not only the feel and beard. This is a nice thick oil. I absolutely love the scent profiles. The scents last a long time. Just a great product all around coming from Scott. Scott is out there in Jersey. He has got a fantastic product. And kicking off 2021, he released a new blend. So he got rid of uh, stuff like grapeseed oil. And he kind of, you know, he reformulated his blend. I've got a lot of the old blend here for you guys. I actually don't have any of the new blend. So when I read off the ingredients, I'm going to read off the new blend for you guys. Not the blend I have here currently. Uh, just so you know what you are going to buy if you want to go to Taylor Beard Go as well as he released a 50% emu oil blend, as well as a 50% new blend. So you're getting that new blend plus 50% emu oil all in one bottle. It's gonna cost you a little bit more because that emu oil is a little expensive to use. So you're gonna have to see that price jump up a little bit. But all of the scents I've got for you guys today are going to be reworked into his website. They will become available if they are not already available. So to kick things off, we've got my favorite. This one is absolutely amazing. This is Blue Magic from Taylor Beard Co. I absolutely love the look of the labels. He does put the name on there. He puts the scent profile on there, as well as the ingredients on the back side here. Like I said, I'm not going to read off these ingredients because these aren't the current ones that Scott is using over there. What he is using now is sweet almond oil, sunflower seed oil, meadow foam seed oil, macadamia nut oil, jojoba oil, black castor oil, and linoleum oil. So it is still going to be a very thick oil, which I cannot wait to get in my beard. And Scott, let me tell you what, if that blend does not match as good as this one feels in my beard, I'm going to be disappointed. I'm going to come to Jersey. I'm going to make you switch back because I love the feel and beard with this stuff. Absolutely amazing. Blue Magic is a blueberry leather, vanilla, and amber scent. Oh, man, in the leather and the blueberry... Just, just blow you away. And the blueberry is like a nice fresh blueberry. And I definitely noticed this stands out in my beard a long time. I notice, I definitely notice scents in my beard when I'm using a beard oil that I'm not used to. I don't smell a whole lot of blueberry scents. So when I have blueberry in my beard oil, I definitely notice it lasts a long time scent wise in my beard. Oh, and it is just, just fantastic. The blueberry and leather work well together. It's a nice kind of fresh, uh, fresh leather scent. And that vanilla kind of calms it down, sweetens it up a little bit. Very, very nice. Oh, absolutely love that scent. Fantastic. Viscosity wise here, you're looking at just a pretty dang thick oil. It comes out very syrupy, works into beard nice and evenly. I absolutely love the feeling beard here with Tailored Beard Co. I can't wait to try out the new stuff. Uh, oil wise, with the new blend even, this is the same price I paid for the old blend. It is going to be $14.99 per oil. Very, very nice. This is probably my favorite scent. Blue Magic, that blueberry and that leather, they just stand out perfectly. I love the look of these bottles. Very, very good product from Scott over there. Today, this one, we have got Amber and Oud, and this is Tailored Gold. I like that, uh, you know, Scott's labels all change. They've all kind of got a different color. Some of them got different hats on. Very, very, just, just light, slight changes to them. 
Very cool looking. Taylor Gold. Oh, yeah, and that's just like a, a, I call this like a sophisticated cologne. It just smells like a, um, I think my wife described it as like a country club older man smell. Just a very, very nice, classy, sophisticated cologne scent. Oh, but it's nice. It's very, very nice. This is like, I would call this a good date night scent for me. Absolutely loved Taylor Gold. And I'm going to blow through these products, man. I love thick oils year round. And especially right now in the Midwest winters, my beard just craves a nice, nice thick oil. Next, this, is a, this was between uh, Blue Magic. This one was a close uh, runner up for me for my favorite scent. And this is Peach Magic. Peach Magic, this is sold out on the website. I've referred a lot of people to Tailored Beard Co. And they keep wanting to get Peach Magic and it keeps being sold out. So if you see it come available, jump on it because I don't know when it's going to come back. Oh, and Peach Magic, it's its like a nice soft peach scent. It is peach, leather, vanilla, and amber. So it's very, it's very similar to Blue Magic. It's just got that blueberry switched out with the peach. Just a very, very nice scent. Just like Blue Magic... That, that peach and the leather work well together, and that vanilla just kind of sweetens it up a little bit. Ah, but that peach, that peach stands out very, very strong. I love it. Absolutely love peach magic. Next, we have got Tailored Blue. Tailored Blue is a double tobacco, blueberry, and oud scent. So this is the first one we're getting into with any oud in it. Uh, Scott is kind of referred to as the oud king. He mixes a lot of his stuff up with Oud, so you will hear him referred to as the Oud King, and Oud has like a, a nice stank to it. It's kind of cologne-y, just, it, it's, just, it's just known as a stank. Oud's got a different stank to it about it that you'll notice it in your beard products. Oh yeah, and the, 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 the tobacco and the, the blueberry work well in this one, and then you kind of get just a little touch of like the cologne coming from that Oud there. Oh, it's nice though, fantastic scent. Just a nice, you get the tobacco, like I said, the tobacco and blueberry definitely stand out. Followed up with a little bit of that oud, that cologne scent there from Tailored Blue. Very, very cool. I just love how all these bottles are different. This next one's very different. This one is a nice uh, silver and black look. This is Tailored 2020. He dropped this right as 2020 was ending here. Very, very cool looking product. I like the difference there. And this is a Birchwood Oud, which I am a huge fan of right now. Birchwood Oud, Sweet Tobacco, and Bergamot scent. Oh, yeah. And this the Birchwood Oud is strong in this one. This definitely kind of has a little bit of a cologne woodsy scent to it a little bit. Oh, just a, nice, a clean, clean, classy scent. That Birchwood Oud and the Bergamot. I really like the touch of the Bergamot on the end there. Yeah, this, it just kind of has like a, a nice woodsy cologne almost to it a little bit. I absolutely love Tailored 2020. Very cool. I actually have the matching butter for this one. So all these oils, as I said, are going to run you $14.99. This one probably won't be back out because, you know, 2020 is over. This is kind of the end of the year deal. But I did get the matching butter for this one. And he also switched up the recipe for his butters here. He is switching over to shea butter, cocoa butter, sweet almond oil, sunflower seed oil, meadow foam seed oil, macadamia nut oil, jojoba oil, black castor oil, linoleum oil, hemp seed oil, and beeswax. So his butters do have a little bit of beeswax in it. And I do notice it when I try and scoop this out of the container. You're going to notice here it is a little bit of a thicker butter to get out. Not terrible, but a little bit thicker to get out of there. But it does emulsify very easily, and I find this butter to be very conditioning for my beard. It does give it a, a nice light little hold to it with the beeswax, um, which is good for me because I like to wear beard butters during the day. So this, like I said, does have a little bit of that beeswax in it if you're not a fan of beeswax in your butters. But that does emulsify. Look at that. I'm pff, no pressure at all. It emulsifies super easily. So you're not going to get like a, uh, like a balm emulsifying uh, from the beeswax in this butter. It's just very soft, very smooth, very easy to get through. And he just, he, he does a great, great job of making his oil and butter scents match. I'm a big, big fan when a company is able to do that. Oh, it is very, very nice. Absolutely love that one. Next, this was one of my wife's, or no, this is not it. They look the same. This is Ramblin' Man. This is a pomegranate and oud scent. This one was pretty simple to me. Uh, I do like the scent of uh, pomegranate, 
but it just seemed like a, uh, a very simple uh, scent profile with this one. It's just pomegranate nude, just kind of a sweet cologne. Yeah, yeah, that pomegranate definitely stands out, and then that cologne, that oud cologne stink kind of comes out. Very nice and simple scent, just a, like a fresh cologne, uh, fresh fruity cologne, not a fresh cologne, a fresh fruity cologne with that pomegranate and oud from Ramblin' Man. Next one, this one has a lot going on in it. This one is the Tailored White. This one's got a whole bunch of different scents in it. Just a very, very complex scent. I notice these scents come out differently throughout the day. I start to pick up on more than others throughout the day. This is Tailored White, and you're looking at a blueberry, teakwood, exotic oud, bourbon, amber, and sweet tobacco scent. A little bit of everything in this one. Oh yeah, and I definitely I get the I get the blueberry right off the bat coming out of the bottle. It's very it's a very sweet scent, and then you get that that uh, the teak wood and the exotic wood. You get a little bit of a different kind of cologne out of there. Uh, just a very very nice scent, and then the sweet tobacco definitely comes out throughout the day. Yeah, you just pick up on that tobacco, but the uh, the exotic wood is different. This is a different kind of cologne scent for me. Very, very nice, but the blueberry is what I pick up first and foremost out of the bottle. It definitely kind of uh, dissipates throughout the day, and that tobacco and that bourbon come out a little bit more. Very, very nice scent there. Next, this is the one that I was going to go for. This was my wife, one of my wife's favorites. I thought she was going to pick this as her favorite. Um, if you guys didn't watch the last video uh, on Tailored, my wife picked out who she wants to represent Taylor Beard Co. in our Beard Madness video when we do that. It's just a 16 team breakdown uh, and one team or each company gets one cent to represent them and one company wins with whichever cent she likes most. And the last oil we are going to feature is the one she picked to represent Taylor Beard Co. in our Beard Madness video. But I thought this was gonna be the winner. I honestly thought this was gonna be it. And this is Quarantine Man. Quarantine Man is a double strawberry, double tobacco, double vanilla scent. So you're just getting double, double of everything here. Oh, I love this one. I didn't know how I'd like strawberry, a scent of strawberry in my beard oils, but I absolutely love this one. It's nice. It's super, super nice. The tobacco, the vanilla, just, it kind of almost has like a, uh, a, a vanilla ice cream or a strawberry ice cream scent to it. That strawberry vanilla kind of gives it a little bit of an ice cream, but that tobacco just kind of livens it up a little bit. Very, very nice scent. Oh, I love that. I love that scent a lot. I definitely wasn't sure about strawberry in my beard, but I love Quarantine Man. Probably one of my favorite oils from Tailored Beard Co. Next, we've got his wintry scent. You guys know I'm a huge woodsy fan when it comes to scent, so this one was a knockout for me. And this is Winter Ooderland. This is exotic oud, pine needles, and sweet tobacco. And like I said, he does a little bit something different for all of kind of the bottles and the characters. You see this one's kind of got the Santa hat on it for Christmas time. Very cool looking. I don't believe this one's available anymore. It'll probably come back next winter time. This scent is amazing. Oh, yeah. And it's just, it's, it's pine needles immediately. It just smells like you're in a wintry forest going to pick out your Christmas tree for the day, and maybe you got a nice little spritz of cologne on there with that exotic oud. Oh, it's nice, that, that those pine needles. The pine needles is what I get most out of it. I don't notice too much tobacco, but I'm a huge, huge fan of woodsy scents, foresty, pine, cedar, uh, fir. I absolutely love this one. This is just pine needle heavy for me with maybe a nice little covering of that exotic oud. I absolutely love this scent. I will definitely, this is pretty full. I might try and keep this around till next winter, just in case Scott doesn't bring it back. But please bring this back, Scott. Very, very good scent. Next, this scent was um, recommended to me almost the most. Everybody was telling me, you got to try Taylor Beard Co.'s Barbershop scent. So that is what I got for you. We have got Taylor Beard Co.'s Barbershop scent. And this is Tailored Classic. Taylor Classic is a barbershop blend and exotic oud scent. And yeah, it's just it's just a classy, classy barbershop scent. I get a little bit of the talk that most barbershop scents have a little bit of a talk smell to them. Oh, yeah, it's it's fantastic. You it's like a it's like a barbershop cologne scent, and you just get a little bit of that talk. Just a very, very classy, classy scent 
out of Tailored Classic here. Very, very good scent. I see why a lot of people recommended that to me. Next, we have got his, this was his first scent of the month, I believe. And this is Tailored Gray. He only made 80 bottles of this. So I've got number four out of 80. Check that out. Number four. Tailored Gray here. He now offers a scent of the month option. If you're interested in that oil, I believe it's only oil. I don't think he's going to make a butters to match those. That'll run you $18.99. Not a bad price for a basically a one-time kind of oil. So he's not going to make it again. This one was an exotic oud. Apple lemon. Uh, neroli. I don't know what that is. Bergamot. Teakwood. Patchouli. Vanilla and musk scent from Tailored Gray. Great. I like I like how it has Scott's photos there. He's got the cool looking eyes there. Very, very cool looking bottle there. Oh yeah, and this one, this one like uh I think it was Taylor White. Taylor White, this has just got a lot going on. I love it though. I can definitely get the uh the musk out of there. The musk is it definitely gives it a, a manly scent, the apple lemon. It's very nice. Just a, a great, great scent here. It's definitely a manly scent. It's a definitely a manly, manly scent. I love the musk coming out of this one. Oh, very nice. Very nice. I like the patchouli as well. I can definitely pick up on the patchouli a little bit. That's not a, uh, a scent a lot of people use in their uh, blends. So you can definitely kind of pick that out of there a little bit. Very, very nice scent here with Tailored Gray. Like I said, that's one of the scent of the months. That'll run you $18.99 price-wise. This is our second to last oil. So if you've kind of picked up on which ones I haven't featured yet, I've got two here for you. The last one is going to be Taylor Beard Co.'s entry into Beard Madness for 2021. We're going to run that back here very soon. And uh, second to last, we've got Juicy Man. Juicy Man is a like a, a fruit punch in the mouth. I love Juicy Man. Very, very nice scent. Juicy Man, you're looking at exotic oud, tobacco, vanilla, juicy pear, and coffee. Kind of a, you wouldn't think coffee would be put in with the rest of those, but it's a nice little touch. Oh, yeah, and I, you actually get the, you get the pear and the coffee kind of bounces off right from the beginning, right out of the bottle. You get the coffee. Oh, it's, it's fantastic. I love it. The, the, the ouds gives it a nice kind of cologne. The tobacco works well, but out of the bottle immediately, I definitely notice the pear in the coffee, which the coffee surprisingly works very well with this. Uh, I wasn't expecting that to work very well when I saw coffee was the last scent there. I was a little lenient on if I wanted to give this a try, and I'm glad I did because I'm a big fan of pears, and the coffee actually makes it smell very, very nice. Just a uh, a very fresh kind of scent, um, but the coffee just blends in very, very well there with the Juicy Man from Taylor Beard Co. All of those oils that I've mentioned to you so far are going to run you $14.99 except for this Tailored Gray that was the scent of the month. These will run you $18.99. Uh, the butter so far, I've got one. I've got one more coming with this last scent here. These are going to run you $12.99 for a two-ounce butter. Uh, bear with Scott. A lot of the stuff is out of stock right now because he's moving everything to that new blend. So just keep an eye on it. If any of these scents sound good to you, just keep an eye on the website. They'll start to get added as Scott gets his stock built back up in that new blend. So Scott's entry for Beard Madness. When we run that back, this is the last scent I've got for you guys here. It's probably one of my favorite scents, and this is Tailored Black. Tailored Black is my wife's favorite scent out of these that I got from Tailored Beard Co., and it is his entry into Beard Madness. Tailored Black is a Birchwood Oud Double Tobacco Bay Leaf, and I'm struggling to read this last word, Cedarwood, I believe. Uh... The label here on the back gets a little gets a little dark there trying to read the uh, the scent profile, but I do like kind of the look of this little guy here, kind of staring off into space. Just a very cool little detailed label here. Yeah, yeah, and to me this one's birchwood oud heavy. I love the smell of birchwood oud. It's just it's a nice classy, um, I want to say a woodsy cologne scent to me. And my wife picked this specifically because she said she would like her man, as that would be me, would like her man to smell like this. Just a very, very nice scent. 
Oh, yeah, I love it. I absolutely love that. The tobacco works well. The cedar wood works well. Just a very, very nice scent. Just a woodsy cologne scent to me. My wife was a huge fan favorite of that. And I do have the matching butter for this one. I, as soon as I saw the scent profile, honestly, I knew I was going to have to get the butter for this because Birchwood Oud is my thing right now. I absolutely love it. So if you guys want to go check out Taylor Beard Co., I will link all of Scott's stuff down below, his Instagram, his website. Like I said, bear with him. He's getting everything switched over to the new blend. That new blend, as I mentioned, is sweet almond oil, sunflower seed oil, meadow foam seed oil, macadamia nut oil, jojoba oil, black castor oil, linoleum oil. So all of these ones I had for you today have a, uh, a little bit of grapeseed oil in them. And a lot of people aren't fans of grapeseed oil because it can kind of kill the scent early. It can make the oils rancid. So Scott ditched that, got rid of that, just reformulated it all for you guys. So if you guys want to go check him out, go check out Taylor Beer Co. Great job, Scott. You're a fan favorite of mine. I absolutely love your products. I love the feel of the thicker oils. So everybody, peace out. I love you, and we'll see you next time.